Jono YouTube, Trevor here, Summit or Nothing, here today with a gear review, bit of kit. You may have seen the other week when I done my Christmas wild camp and I have my two roll mats, my Thermavest Ridge Rest and my inflatable Nature Hike and they just both sort of separate all night and they're slipping, one's go that way, one goes that way and I end up all night fidgety. Well I decided when I was in Go Outdoors the other week and I was looking and they had an offer on OEX sleeping pad, uh, the OEX Evolution Prowl XL. In the shop they have these set out so you can have a look at them and it did seem quite thick, quite substantial. It's a self inflating mat so it's got the foam in there plus the air so it's doing the job of both of my roll mats. So I've got this one, I'm looking forward to using it. Just out of interest I've brought down my Firma rest and my other roll mat and I'll have a weigh up in a minute and see if they you know what the weight difference is but anyway it says here it's got 240T polyester TPU laminated it's 198 centimeters by 63 and it's four centimeters deep and you can see when it packs down it's not the smallest but it is considerably smaller than the Firma rest so usually I take that on the outside of my bag. It's not as wide, it's slightly thicker. Obviously this is gonna be a lot lighter, but then I've been carrying this as well. Now I should think that the two together are still lighter than this, but hopefully that's of a better quality. The Prowl XL weighs in at 1.16 kilograms. So my firmer rest and the Nature Hike sleeping pad together, weighing at uh, 0.87 kilograms. So they don't even come in at a, a kilogram, so obviously they were lighter. While I'm here, I do have another inflatable roll mat, the Mountain Warehouse inflatable roll mat. Now this was about 20 quid, I think, if you buy this in Mountain Warehouse. Whereas this was on offer, I think, down from like 70 quid, and I think I paid like 30 pounds with a discount and with my discount card obviously so let's just see out of interest how this one weighs because I haven't used this for a long time it's quite wide oh it's about the same width as the firma rest obviously the OEX folds in half inside there as well but let's see what weight the mountain warehouse comes out at 98 kilograms so so the OEX is Considerably heavier than, but is it more substantial? Time will tell. We'll have a look at this one set out and you can have a closer look with me. Bonjour, up in my bedroom now. Okay, so I'm going to compare it to the Mountain Warehouse. Now, you know, this is cheap and cheerful. It does serve the purpose. I did used to use it when I used to go out. So one knife gave me, so a hand me down, but it was comfortable. Hold it out. Blow it up. As you can see there, that's rolled out. Now it's it's fairly thick, it's cushioned. The air's in there as well, so it's foam, it's air. You can see it's not very thick. I could easily fall off of that. You can also see it's quite a slippy material. People have given me lots of tips and tricks that you can use, so I could put some now it's a mastic on there to stop it from sliding about. Now we're going to look at the OEX. We've already said that the bag was smaller, not as wide. You could put it in your rucksack. If you have room in your rucksack, you could get it in there. You get your glue, punch and repair kit, some patches. It's got a couple of straps. Now the Mountain Warehouse did come with straps, but I use them on my rucksack these days as extra straps on my rucksack. Now. It's all folded up, opens out, now this one's got a click on it so you press it down to blow, click it and it stops so it's not a twist it's a push button. It's taking some blowing, it still feels like it can get blown up some more. There. 
So you can see it's a good a good four or five inches wider so that's a decent size and it's longer as well if I put this flush to the top yeah so you're a good hundred or so mil longer as well so already it's substantial a good size but what I else also got these decorative stripes here if you feel that they are sticky that is like a silicon sort of rubber to stop it slipping about it's not much difference in the width perhaps a little bit wider so yeah I'm happy with that looking forward to trying that out next time I go out in the tent but putting it up is one thing how's it how does it collapse let's have a look let's take the air out I guess we'd start up this end Now I'm going to start tight here and roll it down towards the air. Taking time. Let the air do its job, let the air escape. So it's time consuming, but we want it to be able to fit back in the bag. Now we've got the two straps, let's get them around. One. Two. And then the bag. Oh yeah. We were up back in the bag, nice and easy. So yeah, that was fairly harmless to get back in the bag. Now let's try the mountain warehouse just out of interest. So the air's escaping. Oh, even without the straps. Slight disadvantage was I haven't got the straps for this one, but even without the straps, it goes in the bag fairly tight. So that's my new OEX roll mat, so hopefully that's alright. I'll keep you up to date as and when I use it and we'll see how it does out on the trail. So anyway, if you've had any experience with either one of these mats or any others, budget mats mainly, I'm on a budget, I can't afford to spend like two, three hundred pounds on a roll mat, Just let us know in the comments below and uh, as I say, I'll keep you up to date on that. Thanks very much, cheers!